Hello, hello, hello. I'm gonna make a very quick video just to show you guys how to parse JSON in NIME. So you have your get request node, you put in your URL in there and you get your result. But your result looks like this. It's in JSON format. But what you want, so like in this case, I have a record for each company, but I want this to be in a table where I have a column for the symbol. So all the company's symbols should be in one column all their names in another column, all the sectors in another column, etc. The fastest way to do it is using the JSON path node, but there are some other nodes um, like the table to JSON node. But this example, the JSON path is the, is the is the ideal one. And in many cases, honestly, this one works perfectly. So I already did it here. I'm just going to get another node to show you the process. So you search for JSON path, you drag it, connect this node to here. And I want to drop the original source column. So the column that has everything in one in one column, I don't want that. So in the response, I want the symbol. Now the trick here is that if you want it for each record, you have to add a collection query. If you add a single query, it's only going to extract it for that first record you have. So add collection query is going to go into all of the different, um, all of the, all of the, all the different records and it's going to extract the symbol name. So you can see it's doing it for all of them. And we can do the same thing for the name, add collection query, sector, add collection query. So do that to everything you want. Okay. Now, in some cases, you might have a record nested in, in another one. So in those cases, you might want to add a JSON path and then do a loop to extract the individual data points. Um, if I find an example of that, I'm going to make another video to show you that process. But this one is pretty straightforward. So once you're done with that, just click on OK. And if you added something by mistake, you can always remove it. But I do want this one, so I'm going to add it back. OK, so now you do this. If you run this, you can see that each of those columns, each of those columns, now you can see them as a column. So you have a column for symbols, a column for sectors, a column for subsectors. Data, uh, date first added ETC, whereas before we only had one column for the body, but now it's extracted everything into its individual columns. But you can see that all the individual records are still nested in that column. So we want that to be separated out because we want a row for each record for a company. So you now search for the ungroup, ungroup node. And what this does is really, it automatically takes everything that has been, you know, nested it automatically detects them. So oftentimes I don't even go in here. I just run it and it splits everything out into its individual rows. So that's how you press JSON. And if I find that more complicated uh, use case where you have to, I guess, do two levels of person, I'll make another video to show you that. But this is this process. Uh, this data, I got it using the financial modeling prep. I'm going to put a link to their website in the description. And that's pretty much how you press JSON in Nine. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Goodbye.